Bonjour, my beautiful people. This week is probably one of the most exciting weeks of my life and I'm super excited that I can vlog all of this and have it forever with you. As you have noticed, I am currently in a different place and I think I can officially say that this is going to be my home for at least, which is for sure, at least a year. Ta-da! Welcome to my home! It's been like such an incredible year. Really everything that has happened, like the changes in job, the changes on my private life, and then the change of the country, kind of like the hardest part was for me separating from my sister, but we speak every day at least like a few hours, which is not enough. I have to say that my life has really changed. And yeah, we're now in a new place completely, uh, which I have to say is... I've never lived in a place like this before, at least if you ask me. If you ever asked me before to close my eyes and imagine my dream place, it would be this. I actually even searched in Serbia for a place like this, a place with like very, very, very high ceilings, like four meter ceilings are kind of something that I've always wanted to have, but never could and uh, never could find something like this. And now we're here. What has changed? Nothing except that I will be in Paris long term. This is my long term address now. From time to time, you will probably see some male clothes lying around which is probably the first time ever since i've started the youtube channel i think maybe not anyway i am eventually going to show you the place but it's going to take me a while because we're in the process of changing a lot of things around the apartment because there's a lot of things that need to be done we need to get a lot of new furniture we are getting a lot of new furniture but it's just taking a very long time for everything to be delivered Today is the day when I will be attending a first official Parisian event since I moved here as like an um, influencer that is based here and I will be going to a Lanvan tea which I'm actually very excited for because I want to see how the like events in Paris take place. I actually went for an event at Hermes last week but that was completely different because um, it was like a cocktail and today is going to be a sit-down event. Very excited for that. And tomorrow we're off to grass with Louis Vuitton. There are so many things I need to get for this home. I just realized I don't even have a full-length mirror, which is a little bit exhausting when you're trying to show your daily outfits. I have one in the bathroom, but it's so far from the entrance doors that it just makes no sense to go all the way. Regarding the flat, I will show you as I'm kind of decorating, as I'm doing stuff, but nothing will really change on my channel. It's going to be fashion focused as always, because I always get questions about that. And talking about fashion, I wanted actually to show you, you guys always ask me about the jewelry, it's one of the most asked questions. And this is, these are actually a few new pieces that I have received from Misoma. You guys know I have, I think more than 30 pieces of Misoma jewelry. Uh, it's probably my favorite brand when it comes, to, it's, it is my favorite brand when it comes to necklaces because I wear so many of their necklaces and what I love the most is to layer them. So um, this new collection really uh, caught my attention because I really like the idea behind it, which was really um, a way of having a piece and being able to kind of style it many different ways, which if you think about it, like it's what we do with jeans, is what we do with tops, with jackets, sorry, this chair. Uh, but we never really do that with jewelry, you know, like you have one necklace and you kind of wear it as that necklace and that's about it. So this new collection is a collection of different chains and pendants, but then we also have, well, look at this. So we have these different pendants. I have picked a few different ones. I love the turquoise and the blue one. I love the green one. And then this is probably my favorite, favorite necklace, which has a little hand and um, kind of fingers crossed motion. I don't know if you can see that. Let's zoom it in. It's kind of like a good luck symbol, which when you're moving homes and when you're really officially moving in with a partner and when you are sort of like um, doing so many different changes in your life, you definitely need something like that. So uh, having a lot of changes in my life right now. I wanted to show you this. What I really like about it, I obviously wear them at different lengths and I choose to kind of 
not wear them sometimes like one of them i don't wear with a pendant and other one i do like i'll, switch, I'll turn it around so that you can kind of get the vibe so you know i really like layering these necklaces and i like wearing them like this and i'm gonna head to the tea today so you will see how it will style them as well because i just find them so easy i have one more actually that i wanted to show you so besides what i've got on my neck right now i also have this massive one and they're so easy to put on. Give me a second because I need two hands for this. So I received these pieces several days ago and actually what I do is I wear all the chains alone and then I add pendants when I feel like it. What I really like is the campaign behind this collection is called Let Them Create. So it's like you can create whatever you want, whatever the vibe you want. If you want to put three pendants on one necklace, you can. If you want to have no pendants, you can. If you want to just like uh, spice it up and wear a pendant as a one-off, you can because they're so easily detachable and changeable that I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Plus, the biggest trend in the jewelry uh, kind of sector this season are chains so chains like this big chunky chains and i like these because they're great quality for me and a super affordable version of like a high quality jewelry so that's for me great and i always get this asked i always like um shower with my jewelry and i kind of do sports with it probably not with the heavier pieces but i wear them even when i sleep so yeah on another note i'm gonna quickly have a shower and start getting ready because i have to be at the la Mantine tea in an hour and i would like to show you my outfit and all that stuff so and one super important thing as today you guys are joining me to my first paris events and kind of like some of the social gatherings because Tonight, my friend Noor is coming from Amsterdam, so we're gonna host her and her um, boyfriend at our house, even though it's undone, but they know they're like um, super informed in everything, with everything, so it's going to be the first time also we have guests here, but I'm gonna fill you in a little bit more about my life in Paris because there's lot going on i'm building a little team here it's working really well and um yeah it's very exciting the only thing is that i really really miss england as well and i'm hoping to go back soon at least for a few days to see my family but the situation is such that if you go back to england you have to stay in quarantine for 14 days or you have to pay a very large fine so i'm not able to do so <laughs> Hey guys, as you can see I have changed, I'm now wearing my Longman uh, silk dress, I actually uh, went for a fitting to their showroom the other day, I'm just making myself my uh, pro probiotic and uh, deep load stuff that I take from IPS, because we're going for a tea, I don't know what kind of food is going to be, if there's going to be some snacks and stuff, but I assume so, because, I don't know if you remember, but back in February when the world was kind of happening I went to La Man Fashion Show and their designer uh, did like a beautiful collection this season with the little bags that are shaped of like patisserie boxes I really really love that so uh, they have actually gifted me one of these bags which I'm gonna wear today and I'm assuming that the tea is going to be kind of themed to like cake and stuff like that and i'm trying not to eat sweets because it affects my ibs but i'm not so great in uh, managing i'm mixing um coconut milk and uh, avena milk the oat milk in france which is amazing you can actually buy the mix of uh, oat milk and coconut milk probably in england as well i never noticed that but I prefer to buy mix than to buy two separates, to be very honest with you. I got these in Zara home. I really love them for storing pasta because we're big pasta eaters. And even sometimes we cook pasta. I know, surprising, right? But um, look at these ones. We bought tons of pasta when we were coming back from Positano. It's, um, we specifically like the Integrale um, pasta, all sorts of shapes, but Integrale. This is my drink. Now I'm going to show you the outfit. One of the reasons that I'm happiest for uh, the move is actually the fact that I'm not going to have to worry so much about the packages anymore because 
Hopefully that drama is behind us. Now there's a lot of mirrors in this room, so you probably can see me from all sides, but I'm just gonna close the window so it's not too loud. And then I'm going to show you my outfit. Yeah. On my feet, I'm wearing these Saint Laurent boots. These are actually new and I got them from Louis Via Roma, sort of midsummer. I really like them and the moment they landed, I decided to get them. Wow. The dress that I picked for the tea is silk. Um, Lan Lan dress. It actually also looks kind of cool when it's like flat shaped like this. I might actually tie it at the back which is always a cool alternative because it adds it a bit of waist if you can see. And then I decided to wear the little bag which looks like a pastry <laughs> box, right? Like a cake box. Well at least that's what I think and I really really like it so that's the look of the day. I'm going to finish my drink and we're ready to go. One thing that I wanted to add is that when a dress is cut like this and it's a very smart dress, I usually like to kind of spice it up with biker boots. I actually initially was gonna um, wear biker boots, but I think that this choice of necklaces is really doing the thing. I actually might put the little um, fingers crossed charm to be the longest one so that it finishes here because I think it's quite dainty or might take it off but this is the beauty of these chain necklaces you can just layer them style them how you want them I can actually remove it from the thin chain completely and attach it to one of the bigger chains like this one I really like how creative Misoma is getting with these necklaces and how creative you can get styling them differently every time so it's a very very hot today in Paris so hot that um, I don't even know like what's happening to autumn I was kind of getting excited for autumn has the boots but anyway let's go one more thing i forgot to tell you is i'm trying to speak french when i'm out there which is very very limited but i'm trying to do that because now that it's official and i'll be staying here for much longer i really need to learn and start speaking i actually have someone that's gonna help me learn i just need to organize my life before i can do everything so it's like this is so extra this is so lamont vibes they're blue color look at this cake and it's not a decoration, it's actual, oh my god, look at the carrot cake, that's, okay. If I'm gonna try one thing, it's not gonna be the sugar glazed donut, it's gonna be the carrot cake. Carrot cake is really my favorite. So I'm back home, oh, I can do all this now. Ah, how much I love being at home. So we got also, as you could have seen, a little pastry box. I actually really want to see what's in here. Oh my god. Is a dome like the one which is symbol for Lamban, which I think is so stunning and it smells like chocolate. But yeah, like I told you, which one is a box, which one is a bag, the question is now. It was actually really nice being at an event again after a while, even though we were sitting really much like socially distanced. Um, but it was kind of nice catching up with everybody. Most people were saying that even though it was really tough. Uh, time behind us that they're happy that they spend more time with their children with their loved ones and I kind of feel the same I'm grateful that I managed to spend more time with my loved ones you know I'm grateful for all of this new stuff which was super unexpected in my life and uh, now I'm gonna change I'm going to have a shower in a moment later on it's so hot that I feel like I have to but um, here you can kind of see better the color of my look as well which I think is quite nice um, to show you um, the boots really really go so well with the new Lanvan bag which was a gift to me and if you're wondering why am I wearing uh, shoes in the kitchen which I normally don't but we're cleaning still everything here and there's still so much to do and we still will be doing more we're not using it at the moment for cooking purposes because of the move I'm about to leave the house and I'm searching for my mask I took it off in the kitchen, so did I throw it away accidentally? Because that would not surprise me. And I'm in a rush because I'm going to meet my friend Noor. I think I've told you guys already, right? I've changed my styling. I'm wearing uh, ripped baggy jeans, loose white shirt. I hope I didn't flash you. I've changed my necklaces. Now I'm wearing two chains now and one green pendant because I've got my green caddy because I'm not going too far and I won't be looking much. I want to wear a pair of Amina heels. And because 
I have a policy that in this new place I will not be showing um, any outings of my flat just because we had such a bad, bad situation with packages uh, getting stolen and people coming to where I live and it was just quite frustrating. So I'm not going to be able to show you outside my outfit, but I will try and show you my outfit as soon as I meet Nora. So hopefully it shouldn't be too long. And finally, after how many months? I think like six or seven. Guys. Nora's back in and the And this blocks. is so hard because like I cannot even like squeeze her so hard. Oh, I miss but, you um, so much. We're trying to be responsible even though it's very, very, very difficult. Um, Guys, you need to see the palace that Nora is staying at. It's like a uh, girl. It's not bad. Actually, like. I have been worse. <laughs> Actually, you see the Eiffel Tower there. I mean, oh my god, this is so cute. And the sky in Paris these days have been like so stunning. So, yeah, you got a beautiful yeah, view. Oh, there's a little balcony. So cute, this right? This is so cute. Oh my god, I'm so scared of heights. You too, right? Yeah. For me, this is like a tricky thing This is, this is tricky thing. I'm also yeah. like, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. yeah this yeah, is a beautiful legit. picture, by the way. So, this is it. Oh my god, there's more of this room. Guys, this is I like... I've stayed in this room before. This is if really... If you see the bedroom, you're gonna die. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, now you can see my outfit. Well, Nora's got a really nice mirror. It's kind of like a grandpa style with the high heels. Let's see the bedroom. I think. Oh, this here you can see. Maybe I should have tucked this in. Actually, this is my outfit because I don't have a full length mirror yet in my apartment. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my it's god! Crazy, yeah. Sander, how do you feel in your palace? I mean, it's it's a little hefty on the credit card, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It goes on your credit card. You know what I mean? It's not like it's a problem for us. We just oh, enjoy. Are on I, the I, this is so cute. This is so nice. Super nice. I love it. Well, anyway, I mean, here's the world's exclusive. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and they have like a beautiful balcony. Love it. I'm so happy. This is beautiful. Mm. You deserve nothing less. I mean, I, I may mm -hmm. not look like it, but I'm smiling. <laughs> I, have. I completely forgot to vlog Nora because we were catching up and talking and having a really beautiful dinner. We didn't put the... Uh, this is what's left. But it's so nice to catch up with friends after Corona. Sometimes I feel like we forget how beautiful it actually is after not seeing... This is the longest we haven't seen each other, know, you know that? For sure. Because... We always see each other with fashion week, like... Exactly. Or I would have been already in Amsterdam, or you would have come to London or Probably something. Each other, yeah. each but... Um, I haven't been in Amsterdam for a very long time, so it's overdue. Last time you went to Amsterdam was when you got the fillers out. Yes, which was in December. How long does it take for this to work on my lips? Guys, just arrived home and packing before tomorrow. The car is picking us up at 6. The flight is, I believe, at 8. And here's a little preview of my um, grass looks for the trip. As you guys know, we're going to... Um, grass. Needs to pack, need to put a lot of stuff now in the bags and we have actually quite a few travel bags. We're only going for one night so here we are. I'm going to try and not actually pack check-in luggage. I have a lot of looks here but hopefully you will actually see them as we go there. So just preparing everything that I want to bring and gonna pack it now. Good morning. Can we sense a bit of a theme going on here? Early morning start is before 6 a.m. by the way. Okay, made it to the airport. Uh, we decided uh, to not check in any of the bags because we just have two hand luggages and two uh, totes, but uh, we needed the boarding passes because I haven't checked this in online. So, no. Heading to the lounge for the coffee, which I'm so excited for, and then Nice. And we were sitting, chatting in the lounge because Xenia is in front, running. She was like, guys, this last call. Seriously? <laughs> How did we just sit in the lounge chatting and we're like, it's the last call. This is the most beautiful time of the day for me. Sunrise, most beautiful time of the day.
I arrived at the hotel, I can take the mask off now because we're at the restaurant and uh, we're just about to eat. Actually we arrived and we thought the rooms were not going to be ready because it's 10 a.m. And we already took a car, got to the airport, I flew and arrived from Nice to Cannes. So basically it was like Paris-Nice uh, flight, we flew with Xenia and Jorgen and um, the rest of the people are arriving as well this morning because we already have lunch around 1 but we wanted to have breakfast because we didn't have any food and I ran to the fruit buffet because they don't have buffets a la carte uh, due to the COVID reasons actually pretty much all the hotels that we've been to except Tegense in Germany but all the other hotels were not doing buffet because of COVID so this is what I took for breakfast no. Yours looks actually a little bit better. No. <laughs> and it's a banana. I love this. And I took some granola with yogurt because I love that. And they also brought us some pastries. Yummy. And bonjour from our beautiful room at the Majestic in Cannes. Just dropped off the bags. How beautiful. I love them so much. And um, we received so many presents from Louis Vuitton, but I'm gonna show them to you in a second. The room is so beautiful. We're only staying here one night. Uh, the flowers that we received are stunning. And really one of my favorite, favorite things. I haven't been here in a while, but we have a little balcony with a corset view. And we can watch as people are arriving, but I haven't been here this summer, so. I haven't been here actually since last September, so this is really beautiful feeling to be back. Got such beautiful flowers that I honestly am thinking of bringing them home tomorrow because I think they're beautiful. Wow. I hope I'm not gonna spill something. It's always tricky, but they're stunning. And as always, the Louis Vuitton team decided to go completely um, like crazy with gifts. So what did we get? I'm, I'm super excited to open them. So I don't even know where to start. But we are in Nice. We're going to Grasse tomorrow. I have um, visited Grasse before already with Louis Vuitton and um, the like a beautiful Fontaine de perfumes. So last year we were here for Colpatant uh, fragrance and this year we're going to be here for something else. But I guess we're going to have to find out tomorrow. So gift numero uno is, I can already see it, a beautiful uh, fragrance case. I already have a monogram one, which is stunning, but this one is like red and beige and black, and it's heavy, which means that inside there's already fragrance and it's personalized. I don't know if you can see, but there, there are my initials on there. And this is the name, I don't know how to pronounce this, hopefully I will learn tomorrow, Er Dubsans. And it's actually the name of the first ever Louis Vuitton fragrance. It's quite floral. It's a female fragrance, but their fragrances are unisex, so you can kind of go with whatever you want. I really think this is insane, insanely beautiful. Over here, I can already tell it's a pair of sunglasses. Oh my God, these are so cool. Green lenses with the logo in the corner. So this is the pair, love it. Over here, I already actually opened this as I arrived. It says, uh, from, it's from Jacques Cavalier Beltrude who is the master perfumer or the nose of um, Louis Vuitton fragrances. It says, welcome at Le Fontaine Parfums Louis Vuitton in Grasse. Let's discover together the beauty of our new creations. We love Jacques. I love Jacques. Jacques is amazing. He always like tells me so much about the fragrances, about his childhood, how he started with his father, and it's truly inspiring. Oh my God, I know what this is, wait. I really love this and this is the mask that we will be wearing uh, throughout this trip. I think it's fabulous. So there's a little bit more here. I saw another box here and I suppose it's another mask. Yes, and it's the same mask. So this is very handy and very, very thoughtful of Louis Vuitton to give us the masks. So over here we have... <gasps> I have a scarf like this but in a different print. These are amazing because these Louis Vuitton scarves come with a little... What do you call this? buckle so you can wear them as a, even as a top you can wear it on your head I already wore them as my as a head as a belt so many different ways and it's a really beautiful one but you can just wear it like this I'm curious to find out what's in here so it's a t-shirt with the gold Louis Vuitton what size is it 
Um, it just says LV stamp t-shirt and the size is small. Over here, I can already recognize that this is a fragrance um, bag, box, how do you call it? Oops! And here we have the different fragrance from Louis Vuitton, which is Meteore. I don't know how to pronounce it in French and I don't know how to take it out. And I'm very curious because I have not smelled this one. I have smelled, I mean the packaging of the fragrance is just always like insane, right? This is so nice. So this is a Metera, it's more of a men's fragrance. And um, actually I just noticed for the first time ever that the bottles are different on female and male fragrances. And we have another pair of sunglasses, which are not for me. But what I love about them is the monogram, which is everywhere. And that's it now, I need to tidy up all of this. A massive thanks to Louis Vuitton for this amazing welcome. I'm so excited to be here. New sunglasses are here. New mask as well. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a moment. We're going for lunch. What I forgot to mention is that we're having lunch on a island, so we're taking a boat. off for a second just to take a picture and um, yeah we're arriving because I just realized that I'm not vlogging at all because basically long story short I am catching up with my friends that I haven't seen since February well Brian and Xenia I have seen because we went on holiday together but there are uh, like a lot of other people that I haven't seen also my manager Enrico is here it's quite nice to um, see them all again almost ready to go for dinner I got my outfit ready, I wanted to show you the dress. I love the detailing on here. Hopefully you can see how beautiful it is. And this is the full look. I got also my own leather jacket. And um, it's cute, look how cute it is. Good morning, bonjour from south of France. In front of me is the most beautiful um, close out view with the sea and we are leaving it this morning so it's probably one of the last kind of like sea view moments this year um, I got dressed actually I'm wearing a stunning Louis Vuitton dress this morning which um, you will actually see we're heading to grass today I don't know if it's just chilly in the hotel or it's like a little bit cold outside but it looks a little bit gray I'm not sure if it translates well on the camera. Bags are packed, we're heading back to Paris today. I just want to accessorize the dress because um, I find it like that it's a beautiful dress, but I want to have something like a little bit of jewelry. So I'm going to be going for my Misoma new necklace and I'll show you what it looks like. What I really like is sometimes when the necklace is just poking a little bit, so you don't have to even show it. It can just poke around here or, you know, like just a little bit under the blouse as well which i think makes it quite beautiful because jewelry always adds a lot of character to every outfit i think for me at least it's so important i'm going to wear my con bag i'm also going to bring this uh, fragrance case that we received yesterday i think it's so 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 beautiful i'm gonna bring it because i want to take some pictures I've got this one and we're gonna go now here is a little outfit overview my travel bags are here packed and the look of the day as well with my white dress. And uh, we arrived to this stunning place where the second car to arrive. We're quite early this morning. As you guys have seen this before in my previous videos, my competitive friends are here. And I say competitive because there are some games, games here and I know who wants to win. Well, I love a ball. Well, that's me. <laughs> and I love a ball. You love a ball. Love and then Brian's gonna do TikTok starting with like, today was the worst. Today was the worst. Today was the worst. <laughs> today my was friends got worst. out of jail. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I cannot I, wait for that one. Got out of jail. But honestly, the trunks are so beautiful. Oh my god, this is like really, really cool. The competitive spirit has already started. And the manager over here. Hello, buongiorno. I mean, Louis Vuitton always does so well, but I mean, I somehow 
can never get over the trunks and all the other things that they do. They can basically make anything you want. If you have a hobby, if you have an interest, if you, I don't know, like uh, collect something, they can make you a case for that. They can do so many different things. So I think it's just such a beautiful brand. I'm here as a referee. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, one point for Xenia. Okay guys, in the heart of grass, we are experience this is Art de Bzance. I think that's how you pronounce it but um, I love this fragrance box as well where you can put it I would put here Art de Bzance. I would put there Contremont and I would put there Rose de Vaughan. those three fragrances from Louis Vuitton I think are my favorites and we're here in the field just um, it smells I cannot even explain how beautiful it smells and the story of the fragrance for me is just so beautiful good morning everybody it's a new day and as you can see we're not in south of france anymore we are in paris now i realized i never really finished this vlog because yesterday when we were in grass i super enjoyed the time with my friends and i kind of thought okay i'm gonna post a little bit more on the stories and post a bit less on vlog because i didn't want the content to overlap but i also wanted you to see a little bit on here. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you can still go and catch up with the stories because I usually create a little highlight. Today is a kind of like first day like off, I could say, that I'm having in a very long time, but I still have to do a lot of things around home. And I also have to catch up with emails because I was traveling last week. So. That's gonna be the plan for today, but before that, I wanted to go and have a coffee. So I'm gonna show you my look of the day. I have to tidy a little bit around here as well, because it's really crazy with all the towels drying in the background. But until we get a full length mirror, this is what it is. So this is what I'm gonna go for, like really baggy ripped jeans and a tank top. It's so hot in Paris these days. It's like going to be 35 degrees tomorrow or so. God help us. And I'm gonna be wearing my Louis Vuitton puzzle bag. I love this one for the casual, more relaxed look. Because the top is quite like dainty, I decided to put on um, the Good Luck Misoma necklace. Here you can really see what it looks like. I really love it because um, I think it's super cute. So I just wanted to put on one necklace to kind of make it a little bit more dainty, but I'm already contemplating wearing one more because I really, really love these necklaces and I love layering them so much, so it's very hard not to go overboard for me. But that is basically it. I'm gonna go have coffee now and I will conclude this vlog here just so that um, we can kind of start on with the next one, which will probably be me building my wardrobe or something like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys!